welcome back to my channel and welcome to my bathroom. I just got out of the shower and I'm getting ready to do my morning skincare routine, although it's kind of afternoon time, but shh, it's okay. About a month ago, Dermalogica sent me a bunch of their skincare products to test out, so I've been testing these out, using them. Some of them I've used before, some of them are brand new to me for the past month or so, and I thought I would walk you guys through the process, walk you guys through my thoughts. Okay, so the first two products I wanna tell you guys about are pre-cleanse products. These are typically meant to remove makeup. Now my nighttime skincare routine is naturally when I would take off my makeup. In the morning, I don't usually have makeup on that I want to take off. However, I do sometimes have sunscreen on or just, you know, greasy, oily face. So occasionally I will use either one of these products in the morning, usually at nighttime. The first one is the pre-cleanse, just the regular pre-cleanse. This is the OG pre-cleanse. It's definitely a more liquidy, oily consistency. I like to use this one when I'm not wearing eye makeup, mostly just face makeup. This works great for powder foundation, light makeup days. The pre-cleanse balm, I think I like a little bit more than the original pre-cleanse. It has a thicker consistency, kind of like a glue stick. And once you rub it into your hands, it turns into an oil. This one does a much better job at getting rid of things like mascara, liquid lipsticks, eye makeup, those hard to budge makeup products. Okay, so after pre-cleansing, it's just standard cleansing your face. This is the special cleansing gel. I actually use this in the shower, so I'm not gonna wash my face again, but I will show you the consistency. It's definitely more of a jelly, not liquidy, but kind of a gel-like consistency. Once you add a little bit of water and froth it up either on your hands or Clarisonic, something like that, it turns into a nice sudsy foam. This is a soap-free cleanser, so it isn't going to strip your face of natural oils or things like that, but it does leave your skin feeling nice and smooth and clean, especially when you use it after something like a pre-cleanse. After cleansing, I've been using the Daily Microfoliant. I have gone through countless bottles of this. It is an amazing product. If you're somebody who likes to exfoliate daily, this is definitely the product for you. When you pour it into your hand, it's kind of a sand-like consistency. Once you add a tiny bit of water, it turns into like a paste. And when you rub it on your face, it doesn't smell the best. I'm gonna warn you. But it gently exfoliates your skin with both a chemical and a physical exfoliant. This leaves your skin feeling so baby soft. Let me tell you guys, it is awesome. Okay, so next step is the Hydro Mask Exfoliant. So something like the Daily Microfoliant is great for a daily exfoliator, but sometimes you need just that little bit extra. This is a mask that you leave on for about five minutes. I use it once or twice a week, just depending on how my skin is feeling. This has hyaluronic acid, lactic acid, bamboo spheres, all these awesome like sunflower seed extract, jojoba oil. So just a little bit more nutrient packed than something like the Daily Microfoliant. Also the packaging on it is super cool. You actually push from the top and it comes at the bottom, so cool. The way this one works is you wanna rub it into your face until the little spheres disappear. This has a very distinct like banana scent to it. It makes me think there's banana in it, but I don't think there is. So I'm gonna let this sit on my face for about five minutes. I like using masks like this during my daytime skincare routine because it leaves my skin hydrated but not greasy feeling and no residue or anything like that because you do wash it off afterwards. Something like the Sleep Cocoon I will use during my nighttime routine. This is an overnight mask that you leave on, but it does leave a little bit of a residue. You do end up washing that off eventually too, but I like using things like this during my daytime skincare routine. My skin feels so soft and so smooth, but not tight. I like that a lot. So the next step is a moisturizer. Dermalogica has a couple of them. This one is the Intense Moisture Balance. This is for drier skin. I like this because we're moving into the fall winter weather. It's a little bit colder. My skin does tend to get a little bit more dry on those seasons. So this has been working really good for me. It's not too thick in consistency. It doesn't have a weird smell or anything like that. I'm kind of sensitive to facial product smells. So I will just rub this in all over my face and down my neck. Next up is eye cream, and this is the Stress Positive Eye Lift. I've tried this out before. I talked to you guys about this probably three years ago when it first came out. It is a really nice product. I do wish they offered it in a jar as opposed to this little squeezy tube. I just don't love the little metal tip. I understand the purpose behind it. It is supposed to help reduce signs of stress and of course things like wrinkles and darkness and just exhausted under eyes but I would prefer it in a little tub. 
Okay, last step is sunscreen. So this is such an important step that I used to always skip, but I'm only getting older and my skin is only getting more aged and it's very important to wear sunscreen if you're outside a lot. Heck, even if you're inside sitting by a window, sunscreen is so, so important. I take multiple walks a day with my toddler. We love outside time, so I cannot skip this step. This is the Dynamic Skin Recovery SPF 50. This is not waterproof, so this is not something you're gonna wanna wear at the pool. Dermalogica does have a waterproof sunscreen, but this one is not, so just keep that in mind. This is an old bottle. It's almost gone. I love this stuff so much, you guys. What I like the most about it is it doesn't smell like normal sunscreen. It has a pleasant, just like skincare scent to it. I can't explain it. It almost reminds me of my grandma, but in a good way, if that makes any sense. And it doesn't leave my skin greasy or oily feeling like some sunscreens can. So I do really like this one. I wish it was waterproof or water resistant just for those sweaty days, but it gets the job done, especially in the winter time when it's sunny, but not hot. All right guys, well that is my morning skincare routine using all Dermalogica products. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, make sure you leave it in the comment section down below. If you like Dermalogica products, let me know what your favorite is in the comment section down below so that we can talk about it and maybe I can test it out if I haven't already. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and I'll talk to you next time.